Friday, time for another edition of Science Sunday. Of course, joined by Eva Ryle of the Connecticut Science Center. Good morning. Good morning. Of course, we are physically distanced. We're yep. wearing our masks, and we're here on the plaza level of the Science Center. And while you guys have a rooftop garden on the what the, the North Tower, you mm -hmm. also this is actually a rooftop garden as well behind us. Yes. Yeah. So it it may seem like it's not a rooftop garden because we have this beautiful, extensive garden behind us. But right now we're actually standing over the garage. Okay, yes. So there are three levels of cars beneath us. And we have all these plants. So we actually have a very special uh, roof system underneath us to make sure that you know, we're supporting these plants and we're also not crashing through into the garage, right? That makes sense. <laughs> Don't want to be too very heavy. Very smart. Yeah, so um, some of our uh, techs here at the Science Center, along with our horticulturalist Kim, built this really cool model to help us show how all of this works. All right. So um, over here, we can kind of see the pieces that our uh, rooftop guard, or sorry, uh, our roof is made out of. So we have the roof up here. Um, this blue part represents some insulation, okay. right? And then we have a waterproofing membrane. So just the same as you would kind of imagine with a normal roof, right? Okay. We're staying warm, we're preventing water from getting through. Here's where it gets kind of interesting. The next thing we have is a root barrier because we can't have all those plant roots digging down in, you know? So we need a barrier. And then we have this piece of fabric here that's a filter fabric. So this helps all these channels, help channel water, slow it down, so our plants can take that water up. And then above this, you would have your growing media, right, the thing that the plants are growing in. Maybe uh, in some places we have up to 12 inches wow. of right. that growing media, and then we can support, you know, you might be able to see back here, we have some trees. So we can grow those on our roof. Very incredible. Yeah. Awesome. And so in addition to looking beautiful, right, I mean, it's a really nice place to it's hang out. It's a nice out. aesthetic, yeah. Exactly, yep. it supports pollinators. There's some really cool reasons why we have this. So um, I want to show you what happens. Let's like talk about when rain falls on a roof. So yes. we have a normal roof here, and then you have a model of a green roof with some plants. All That's right. some sedum. So we are going to make some rain. All right, here we ready? go. We've got our rain. All right. All right, so we're just going to pour it down. And you can see on mine, on a normal roof, it's running off really quickly already. So you imagine this is all going into storm drains. It's maybe overloading that system. And what do you see going on with yours? It's just now starting to trickle out. Exactly, yeah. 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 That roof is helping to retain that water. The plants will take it up, and it's slowing down that water flow. Awesome. We can also look at the temperature. So you can see this is 92 degrees in here already off that roof. Yep. And in here, we're looking at 85. Wow, so considerably cooler. Exactly, wow. yeah. So. Awesome, science is everywhere. Exactly. All right, and during this whole situation, of course, you guys are doing all sorts of science on a routine basis and posting it to your blog. Yes, yeah, so you can check out all of this really cool science you can do at home um, on our blog, ctsciencecenter.org slash blog for all kinds of fun stuff. Excellent, all right, Eva, thank you so much. And of course, we'll see you for another edition of Science Sunday next weekend.